Okay, so here's the uh, overview for the uh, Build a Blend website for products. Um, you're going to go to that uh, URL that I sent to you, the username and the password. And if you try to click on any of the stuff that you don't have access to, it's just going to send you to the home page or to your actually account page where it says uh, my account. And then you're going to have to be able to get back into it. So I'll give you, for instance, so say, for instance, I click on uh, gallery settings. It's going to kick you out to this page. So um, you can either hit your back button or you can go back to the URL and log in. So hit your back button. Um, you really only have access to the products. Okay, so if you click on products here, all products, this will give you all the products on WooCommerce. Okay, so you can scroll through. You can actually type in here and search for a product if you want. There's the page numbers right here, one through seven. So it's only showing you a certain amount of products here. So say, for instance, you want to change the uh, picture for the olive blue here, you can just go ahead and click on it. And then if you want to see what this looks like, um, I always just open up another tab. So olive blue, there's the picture. Here's the other pictures below it, right? Um, if she wants a different main picture here, you just scroll down on the product, okay? And notice how here's the main picture. You just you just change this picture. You can remove it and then re-upload and, and uh, either upload a new picture or um, put uh, one in from the library. If you do upload these, just try to make sure that the image names are exactly the same as the product. It just makes uh, SEO a little bit easier for her. Um, to help her out. So in this case, if I was to save this new image, right, I would call it olive a blue pineapple tea, right, and then upload it here. And then when you upload these images, if you take a look at this thing, um, I'll go to media library, and then here's the image of it, right? So if you look at it, it's, it shows you how big these are, 450 by 450. If you're uploading huge images, it's going to take a long time for them to um, to, to be viewable, right? So it's gonna take a long time for them to load. So try to stay uh, within a smaller range if you can. 800 by 800 pixels is fine. 1,000 by 1,000 is, is fine as well. Um, if you don't have Photoshop or another photo program where you're making these square images, usually the best thing to do is to uh, go to the product page, right? And then you can go right click on this thing and then save image as, and then um, open this image up and then paste your image on top of it. There's a um, cool online editor called Photopea. It's just like Photoshop. And there's a couple other ones out there. So this is an advanced editor. It's just like Photoshop. You can upload stuff. You can open up your images and edit. I'm not going to give you an overview on this. And then there's Canva and a couple other free ones where you can use Photoshop or whatever other email, uh, affinity or whatever program you're going to use for your uh, image editing. But if you make them really large, it's going to slow down the site and increase the bandwidth and increase costs. So make sure that they're, you know, if they're 800 by 800 pixels, it's not really going to make this image look any better, you know. So um, um, go ahead and do that. And then remember to save them at 72 dots per inch, so 72 DPI. So if you take a photo with your camera, um, it's going to be like 300 dots per inch. So you really don't want to upload those images. You want to make them smaller, save them for web, and then put them on the site. Um, if you're going to be changing any of these images down here, same thing. You just go onto the image itself. You go down where it says add so product gallery, and you just upload them here. So say, for instance, I wanted this image here. I just drag it, and it'll start with that image. Okay. So And then you need to um, always go back up and select update on the products. Okay. Um, say, for instance, you're coming in here and you're adding uh, this product to another category. You could scroll over here. Say you wanted to show in functional immunity blends, but you also wanted it to show up under Mama, and you also wanted to show up under these other ones. You just check them off, and when you're done, you select Update. If you look at this, this is the description for the product, right? This So, so this is starting price at 42 per pound. If we look at this product, starting price at 42 per pound. Um, the description that's there, that is the main one, is the thing that shows below. Um, the actual product. So if you're going to change this information, it shows below the product. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we got some SEO stuff. So if you're getting in here and you're doing SEO thing, you're going to actually change some copy and text. You can play around with that. Um, you get that down a little bit further, and you actually see $150 minimum order. So um, if you look at this, that's where um, this little guy is right here. 
So if you wanted to add more copy in between these two things, uh, starting price, and you wanted to put some more stuff in there, you can type um, information into um, this WYSIWYG editor. Notice there's this and this tab here. So just stay on visual, and then you could do, you know, type in whatever you want. You could highlight it, bold it, etc., etc. right? Okay. Um, whenever you're done doing anything, you're always going to want to come back in and select update, okay, right here on the right-hand side. And you can always preview the changes of this page, or you can go ahead and just click and open up a new tab and then see the actual website. If you're going to be editing any kind of pricing, um, inside here it has attributes and they have sizes already, right? These are all really, don't change any of that stuff or you'll break it, right? Go into variations, so say for instance you need to change the, uh, the, the price for the two pound of this, you just click on that guy right there. And then you scroll down, and here's the regular price, okay? So it's two pounds, so it's gonna stay the same amount of ounces, right? But say we add a 10 pound bag, you need to calculate that, how many ounces that's gonna be, 160 obviously, um, for the weight, and then you have to change it to 160. So if you're gonna come in and add any products, um, and you're gonna add weights and things, there's a way to do that, so I can also provide a video on how to do that. I don't recommend adding them yourself um, under this drop down unless you're going to, you're a little more versed in WooCommerce. So if you're just changing out pricing and you're just changing images, this is uh, good enough for you. So say for instance, I want that to be $64 instead of 84, excuse me. Then I would just update it. Once I'm finished updating, you can um, scroll up here and then select update. Or if I actually change this, let me change it to 64. This will change down here. Let me see. 84. No, 84. So just leave it. So change to 84 and then select update and then it'll update on the price uh, for these drop downs here. Okay. So if I change the change the price, I'm not going to right now, but it will change for you. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Um, if you want to deactivate a product, so say for instance, I don't want this product showing on the store, you go to edit here and you just turn it into draft. You don't delete the product. You delete the product, it's gonna cause uh, a little mayhem on the, on the back end. So click on draft and then select okay. So it's like, it's like draft, select okay. And then you update it and then it'll make it a draft. So I don't want that a draft. I'm gonna say publish, okay, and update. Okay, that's it.